What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you my 2015 NFL Draft Prospect Rankings video. We're taking a look at the tight end position. We're going to look at my top 10, some small school prospects, as well as some sleepers that you want to keep an eye on. First, let's take a look at what goes into my prospect rankings. Number one, it's a trait focus base instead of a level of competition base. I don't care where you play, traits translate. Now look at three games, your best game, player's worst game, and also the best matchup and or competition. And finally, these are not indicative of where I believe these players will actually go in April's draft. Let's take a look at what's new in my 2015 tight end prospect rankings. We're going to be grading these guys and ranking them according to best position fits. That's your inline players, your H-backs, as well as your flex players. Tyler Croft out of Rutgers at 6'5", 240 pounds, grades out as my number one rated flex tight end prospect in this year's draft class. He's extremely good off the ball, very good athleticism, and he also can be moved around the formation. Now, he doesn't move the defender off the line of scrimmage in a run game, and he has to get stronger in the lower base. But overall, as a receiving prospect, he reminds me a lot of Tony Moriaki that plays for the Seattle Seahawks. Very underrated tight end prospect here in James O'Shaughnessy of Illinois State. Got the chance to see him live in the FCS championship game versus North Dakota State. And he's a very fluid athlete and good all-around game. He's able to effectively seal, wham, and also reach block from the tight end position. He can play inline or flexed out. I think he'd be ideal as a flex player with situationally being put inside as an inline tight end. But overall, you look at his game, great hands as well. And I think where he has to get better is his route running. He has to be a little bit more consistent in that area exploding into his stem and out of his breaks and also being able to beat man or zone coverage more consistently he's making those contested catches but overall his game in my opinion compares favorably to jordan cameron of the cleveland browns casey pierce out of kent state caught my attention down at the senior bowl this year he had a great week of practice and the first thing that jumps out at you is how fluid he is in and out of his breaks running his routes that's why i believe he'd be ideal as a flex player in line he gave great effort blocking but you want to see him become a little bit more stout and a little bit more consistent in that area but you flex him out you put him one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker or safety he'll win that matchup more often than not E.J. Bibbs out of Iowa State has tremendous hands, good run after the catch skills, and he reads coverage as well on the fly. He can definitely get down that middle of the field and make plays in the deep passing game. Now, he's not technically sound as a blocker. He's coming off a knee injury, so you want to wait and see how healthy he's going to be. But as a pure flex guy, I think he is an excellent prospect worthy of a third-round grade. Rory Anderson of South Carolina compares favorably to the Arizona Cardinals' Rob Hausler and what he brings to the table from an acceleration standpoint, his natural receiving skills. And I do believe he position blocks very well and also has a good first step off the ball. Now, his lean frame is what concerns a lot of scouts. He's built more like a wide receiver, so you worry about his inline blocking skills being able to hold up at the point of attack. And at times, he does play high, so playing with better leverage inside and also in his routes could help him progress even further as a pro. I was able to get the chance to see Gene Sifrin live versus Buffalo this year later on in the season and he catches the football very well away from his body which is always good to see from a tight end a guy that's playing on the outside he has good effort in the running game a run blocking department and his route running is above average now he's not overly physical as a player and his leverage is a little inconsistent in his blocking and you also worry about his age I believe he's going to be 27 years old as a rookie so how much more can he get better is the biggest question Rounding out my tight end flex prospect rankings is Wes Saxon out of South Alabama, a former receiver that completely understands the passing game. And he wins those one-on-one -on -one battles, and that's what you want to see. That's what I saw down at the East-West Shrine game from him all week long. He has above-average hands as well. Now, he doesn't explode out of his breaks. You want to see him be more consistent in that area. And he's not as fluid as you would like to see a guy that was a former wideout. But overall, solid skill set reminds me a lot of Scott Simonson that plays for the Oakland Raiders. 
So let's recap my 2015 NFL Draft prospect rankings of the flex tight end prospects in this year's draft class. Again, color-coded by round grade. No first-round prospects. These start at the second round with Tyler Croft and James O'Shaughnessy and finish up with fifth-round prospects in Gene Sifrin and Wes Saxton. Overall, I would take each and every one of these guys on my football team. They are your ideal flex guys that you want to look for in this year's draft class.